it's the first video tea related that I'm going to be making for 2011 sweet. So the next uh, video I'm going to be making today, or d this evening actually, is Aren't You a Cypressorize? I've got some other teas that we haven't uh, got a chance to film before, and now they're out in the open. But first, I hope you like that um, Dazzle Test Capture te uh, video that I just uploaded. So tomorrow, I'll make a video of how to actually set one up. It's going to be cool. So uh, no more <laughs> putting the camera behind the screen and recording. So you're going to be treated to high quality stuff. Sweet. So I'll start to continue with the new Super Mario Brothers series. Anywho, so it's the first tea that uh, we're going to see for this video. Uh, this is my uh, Pocotheria Regalis, the Indian Ornamental. <laughs> Pandora, you can see her abdomen is very fat. She's been uh, kept a super worm struck diet. So, very great source of uh, nutrition for the tea. As you can see, that uh, crickets really don't fatten up the abdomen. Super worms do. So she's probably around a six and a half to seven inch female. She is probably approximately around three and a half to four years. I got her back in 2007, I think, uh, no, 2008, very early. No, 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 it was 2007, yeah, 2007, as soon as I got Scarlet, I decided to get her. Yeah, she's just amazingly beautiful, isn't she? So we'll, uh... I hope she doesn't freak out. She's probably nervous of my pokies. Well, the nervous regalis. I have Zelda. You've probably seen her. She's huge. She's approximately around 8 inches, so... I'll show you the, the most important features of the P. regalis. I probably mentioned this in my pokey overview video and my Mythbuster video. Where you could see the prominent uh, clear admin bend. Only regalis has that. Very beautiful specimen. I'm um, probably going to look for a mature male on arachnoboard soon because uh, I think she's breedable and uh, I want to try this out. It'd be funny th that the next breeding project I'm going to be doing is uh, a P. regalis. Last year, I remember well, we bred um, Medusa. I think it's been a year now since we last bred her and uh, <laughs> nothing really happened. She molted out. So, um, See what else could we film here? Oh yes, my Mega Vibima Rebosum is out in the open. So it's been a while since we last updated him. Yeah, it looks like a male um, from the ventral shot, but I really can not tell very much because uh, uh, ventral sexing isn't the greatest. So what we'll have to do is uh, once he gets to molt his pre-molt stage, which probably shouldn't be too long because uh, uh, he's starting to blacken out on the legs, which is a sign of pre-molt behavior. Not quite yet here, but uh, he's starting to near it. I'm going to see. Maybe he's going to mature out next molt. I have not, no idea. These are get these get pretty big. As adults, they get having a what an eight-inch leg span. Yeah, it's a pretty big T. Kind of reminds me of a Brachypelma erratum, but uh, <laughs> they're not very. Uh, happy or docile species, but uh, they have this unique threat display, which you probably saw during my Mega the Care Sheet video. Uh, let's see who else I haven't been uploaded recently. There's a Cyclostorium Schmarde, Yellow Banded Bird Eater. I presume uh, male. B. Melia still has not molted. Genesis still hasn't molted either. Uh, here's one who I haven't seen in a while. Erito Palma Recefi, the ripped tree spider. Four inches as an adult. i uh, got a Tapnikinius gigas here, Barb. That's the one that produced me the Phantom Egg Sack. And she's over there. Probably going to mold very soon. Okay, 
Oh, here's a better shot of my P. Metallica. Uh, this is little Nia. Presume female. I haven't seen that striata out. Uh, that's Sora. Not yet. There's Tina. This is the uh, P. Tigrino Aselli. Wessel Tiger Ornamental. Very rare pokey in Canada. And try Peppy. It's my only Australian species up till now. I just paid for that S. Crassy Peeps, which I'm gonna get. This one here is a Glava Blonde Whistling Spider. It's a burrower, you can see, you can appreciate. You probably see this under, spider right under the name. Uh, let me get my flashlight. My Arminia is getting huge. I remember getting this uh, for free uh, when I got like five or six teas from Tarantula Canada. Got it as a half an inch, about that small. And <laughs> look how big she got. It's amazing. Salmon poles are really fast growing teas. Uh, here's a Thrixo Palma Ocker tea, Peru Flame Rump Bubbles. And I guess I'll uh, go on a high note and end with two of my pokies. Give an update on my Pogotheria Barra. The Highland, no, Lowland Ornamental, the Ivory. This is possibly my very beautiful specimen. This is probably my favorite one. You've probably seen on my desktop. She's featured in it. Wow. Never would have imagined. Two years as a half an inch spiderling, and look what happened. <laughs> Pokies are amazingly fast growers. Take it from me, and take it from Rob too. And I'll end with my uh, another P. Miranda. Kind of a nervous one, but again, very beautiful pokey. And it's very female too. Sweet, there we go. Another one as this raises about an inch. Big one I purchased her for a hundred dollars and <laughs> about two years. Or is it a year and a half ago? Five inches. Amazing. And I guess we'll check up on P Ornata, see how well she's doing. Uh, she's doing some excavating work, which uh let me see. So that's what Joelle's been doing recently in my Piornata. Made a burrow, very strange. It's supposed to show you that even the largest arboreals really don't necessarily uh, live up in trees. They burrow sometimes just like Rob. So I don't know if she's going to molt there or maybe potentially she was gravid and I have no idea be really sweet if she is. And again, this is the one that I got from Snake Man for Life. Very happy with this Ornata. And if that one ends up being a male, like you saw during the other video I made, probably can see him right over there. <laughs> we'll do a little breeding project. And I think that's all you've seen right now. So not much has changed. Except some few molts from the Bioratum. Uh, see how well she's hardened. I might make a new feeding video probably in a couple of days. Probably on uh, let's see on Monday because or Monday or Tuesday because Wednesday I'm going back to classes. That sucks. But anyway, can't really. Uh, <laughs> make feeding videos when I'm in school, but uh, there we go, yeah. Right now I can see her fangs still blood red, so she's not ready yet to eat, so she will probably won't be featured in uh, the feeding video. So that's all I have to share right now. Gee, is a red color form. 
and uh, hope you enjoyed this video.